Hey, clocks are changing this weekend, and with that, we are officially entering daylight saving season where we move forward an hour. KS Ladies 12's Nadia Daza Maya shares what the time change will mean for you. It is that time of the year again where we spring forward and reset our clocks. With daylight saving happening this Sunday, we will move one hour forward. However, our bodies may need some time to adjust. When you lose one hour of sleep, you get what we call sleep deprivation. Because even if you lose one hour of sleep, it takes about three or four days to make up for that one hour of sleep. Louisiana is one of the states where daylight saving still happens. And even though some states no longer change time, there may be a reason to keep doing it. So if we didn't have the time change take place, if we didn't do daylight saving time, then what would happen is, is that the time would get all messed up in the summer months and the sun would actually rise in June around 4 a.m. We'd have sunrise around 4 a.m. and those sunsets would never be later than 8 p.m. We spoke with Treeford Bolshire residents to hear their thoughts about the time change and its effects. Nah, that's too early for me. That's too early. I'd rather, uh, you know, wake up at the normal time. That's losing sleep. You know, it's going to be hard to sleep, sun shining in your face. You know, it's just, it's not going to work. They also told us that adjusting to this new schedule is a little difficult as well. But here are some tips for you to help your body adjust better during the time change. Start by going to bed earlier. Start to go going to bed earlier. And as you get up in the morning, try and get maximum sunlight in the morning. Don't get sunlight in the evening. To be fully prepared for this weekend, KSLA's chief meteorologist also remind us to change the time in analog clocks and to check your batteries in fire detectors at home. In Shreveport, Naidu Dasamaya, KSLA News 12.